Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Site one came out. Um, we started working on it 2015. Jump to reality. It's 2020. Jump to reality. So jump to reality. Jump to the present, but jump to reality, y'all. Reality. <laughs> um, yeah, and then that one was on YouTube, and then our second one wasn't even. You could say it was the, the second one. It was the, the series. series. It had five fucking episodes. <laughs> What's up you guys welcome back to my channel and today you're probably wondering what are you doing so right now i'm about to start recording my um, fourth episode of my podcast on spotify and itunes called too much connor um you can't even see my mouth moving right now but now you can but you can barely hear me basically right now i'm um, about to start recording um and i just wanted to film this video to show you guys kind of how i do my um my podcast and you can catch this episode on Spotify and iTunes and it brought to you by Anchor. All right. Enjoy. All righty. So in today's podcast episode, we are going to be talking about my biggest accomplishments in life. Because my last episode that I did, I talked about my biggest regrets in life and I thought maybe I would spice it up you know do a little self-care you know it's 2020 and talk about my biggest accomplishments in life um, because this isn't something that you know I genuinely remind myself about enough I constantly here and there will think about you know a lot of regrets that I have in the past and I don't usually think about you know the accomplishments that you know I've made and I think it's good for people to remind themselves about you know the good that they've done and the things that they actually can remember you know later down the road that they have actually accomplished so like the last episode I did my three biggest regrets so this one is my three biggest accomplishments so we're going to jump straight into number three so number three is um to give you the story um STN's number one morning broadcast show worldwide so that one is um one of my you know big accomplishments that I like to remind myself about and it's it's not just something that I accomplished it was something that me and my um, high school news program accomplished together as a team so this was a while back um, I believe I was a junior in high school um, me and my news program niece wired we went out to Anaheim California as a team and we put together this um, morning broadcast show um, together and we had, I think it was like maybe four or six hours that we had to be able to pull off an entire news program um, TV show. And we all went out and filmed different news packages so that we would all come together and make the anchors deliver those news packages, you know. Um, so the cool thing being that um, my team was working with the main anchors to be able to deliver all the topics. And the other teams went out and they filmed their news packages that we would go, you know, that we would deliver to them. So we then went um, from that and then we started editing um, and we had to think maybe like an hour and a half until the um, entire contest was over. Um, we finished it within I think like 15, 20 minutes like left um, and surprisingly we got it in. Um, we waited until I think it was like the next day or the following day and we found out that um, we actually won for the first time I think ever um, as the number one morning broadcast show worldwide. Um, since STN is a worldwide convention, I think there were schools from Japan that even came. So that was a pretty cool accomplishment that, um, me and all of my classmates were actually able to team up together and pull that off to compete against even like a school that is out in, um, I think it's a uh, Carlsbad high school in California. They're like a multi-million dollar news program, um, that is even sponsored by CNN and we beat them, you know. I thought that was a pretty cool accomplishment that um, myself and my teammates uh, slash classmates are actually able to pull that off together um, and work together to be able to do that, which is pretty cool. And that's something I'm really, really proud of, of all of us um, to this day. Moving on to number two, um, 
this one is something that you know I've talked about on my YouTube channel before, but this one is about my mental health journey. And that's something that I can call an accomplishment of mine um, to be able to have gotten this far and pushing and constantly just remind myself that it always gets better. Um, and it's not just an accomplishment at the moment. It's something that's continue, you know, is going to continue to be ongoing. Um, but it's an accomplishment to always, you know, get this far in life. Um, and that's something that I think a lot of people should remind themselves about. So mental health, as in I've been diagnosed with a, a couple of mental health disorders um, that I've talked about on my YouTube channel um, that I'm not going to get too into depth about. But um, I've been diagnosed with anxiety, depression, ADHD, um, and bipolar disorder. A lot of that stemming from the constant moving of my life. Every single four years, I would move um, living in North Carolina to Georgia to Virginia, back to Georgia, and then to North Florida to South Florida, back up here to Virginia again. So the constant moving is something with, you know, holding friendships um, and, you know, having a lot of ties to problems and stuff like that has just, you know, had a damper on my mental health and well-being um, and that I've been capable, you know, of handling it and getting this far um, without giving up, you know, and that's something that, you know, I can call an accomplishment and that I'm proud of is that I've been able to figure out, you know, how I work as a person and, you know, to keep pushing and not giving up, you know, and trying to, you know, use this as, you know, my gateway to express how I feel this as in, you know, YouTube and, you know, starting this podcast and working on films and everything. And I think that's just a gateway that I'm able to handle just to be able to express how I feel and, you know, make people laugh and share funny, creative content that, you know, I can cherish forever. Um, and I'm very, you know, I'm proud of that. And I think you should be proud of, you know, if you are handling with any types of, you know, mental health problems, um, that you should be proud of yourself to be able to keep pushing and getting, you know, have gotten this far in your life. And you should be proud of that. So we're going to move down to number one. So this one is kind of revolving back to somewhat of the first episode with Guy talking about sight, but this one is another accomplishment of mine that I'm proud of. Um, so there is a total of three um, films, one of them being a series of five episodes um, and two of them being short films um, under the name of Sight. So the Sight trilogy films um, being put onto Amazon. Two of them on Amazon, one of them on YouTube, but basically I'm proud of me and the you know, my friends that I've worked with on all of these films to be able to be, you know, at such a young age to be able to get something that we created in our spare time in high school onto, you know, such a big platform onto Amazon Video Direct is something really crazy that I'm surprised to this day that we were actually able to do that, you know. And, you know, I like to pat myself on the back and, you know, thank everybody for being able to pull together in our spare time and be able to, you know, work on something, you know, for the greater good that we can put onto our resumes and just remember forever that we did that, you know, that we got these films that we made, uh, you know, in our spare time onto Amazon, you know. It's not like we got a film onto Netflix or something, but, you know, we got it onto Amazon, which is pretty dope, to be honest. And I'm just, you know, glad that I had the experience to be able to do that with all of my friends at a young age to get that far um, to a point that we were able to push these, you know, films that we made and the series that we made onto Amazon. Um, I'm just, I think that's really cool that we were able to do something like that. There were some other things, like, it was kind of hard, <laughs> it sounds sad, but it was kind of hard to sit down and just think about, you know, some accomplishments that I've done. There were a couple other ones, like being able to work so closely, you know, closely with the entire um, Marjorie Stillman Douglas um, situation that went down with their school shooting and you know working on a news package with them um in my school and raising money for their tea production program and being on first coast news with um anthony austin and all them that was you know another accomplishment that you know that i've done but i didn't want to put that down onto the list that was just more on the lines of something else that i did in my spare time that you know reach out to these people, you know, make the connections that I did and and have the support for them that I had, you know. That's not something that I want to call an accomplishment. That's just called being a good person, you know. Um, so that wasn't something that made the list, but it's just, you know, it's another thing that, you know, I can think about, you know. It's, you know, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about the, you know, that situation and everything. But that does, you know, wrap up all of the accomplishments that I could personally think of. 
right now I'm actually recording this video on my camera for my YouTube channel um, to show you know how the podcast actually works and how I record them for Spotify um, and actually it's gonna be put onto iTunes within the next couple of days so this episode might actually be on iTunes right now so check that out that's pretty cool the next episode actually I will be um, discussing my plans for my trip going down to South Florida in February um, I've already made, you know, the list of all my expenses and everything like that so that I can budget out my money, my plane ticket, my car rental, food, gas, things like that, parking, just got to do adulting things. That is pretty much it for today's episode. Um, thanks for listening. And if you've gotten this far and or even found this podcast, congratulations <laughs> already. I'll see you next time. Bye. So that's how I do my podcast on Spotify and iTunes. Thank you for watching this video. Whenever you can also listen to this video if you want to by listening to it on Spotify and iTunes and, you know, brought to you by Anchor. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's YouTube video, guys. I'll catch you next time. Cue the outro. Okay, cue the outro now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, maybe even a comment. And if you want to, you can click that thumbnail on the left and it will take you to my most recent video. See you next time.